Hello, this is my newly completed flight computer for my helicopter. So I have a mini helicopter, very nice, very compact, cool carbon fiber. Um, all you need to be able to fly really well and flies fantastically. Why not make a really nice flight computer? So this is using a um, USB um, at Mega 8-bit microcontroller, uh, the Teensy 2.0, not Plus Plus, the small one. Um, I have a plus plus, but that was not what I used. Um, and uh, it's got PW out output, four channels. Um, it's got uh, XB input, and these are removable module. Uh, it just has a nice socket connector. Um, and I left the USB in the bottom, and I left um, the, uh, the little spot to hit the program button, and um, I left a couple extra cables, um, analog inputs, and uh, an interrupt input that I will use to be able to connect up my um, altitude sensing sonar module uh, as soon as I um, get it flying and, and want that, and, but I, I intend to do that. Anyway, uh, that's the plan, so you like that. Uh, so this is the process programming, plug it in, turns on. I have a little fake PWM output LED. All I have to do is, in, um, at, as soon as I do that, there's uh, data coming from me, um, from it, saying what uh, gyro values it's getting. And if I take the remote, turn it on, put it into transmit mode. It'll get to the switch for a second. It takes it. For some reason, it's taking a little longer than it should be able to update the new PID values. But either way, there we go, settings okay. Um, I can zero the sensors and notice that up here, now not only is it getting throttle values, like minimum throttle up to full throttle, um, it's also getting centered right around zero new gyro values. So they're very sensitive. So if you take it and I move this around a little bit, you'll see. These change very quickly. Um, and so, anyway, turn back off the remote. Uh, go back into machine programming. Um, I'm going to leave it receiving values while I go into Xcode. I'm just going to, um, I don't know, add a space, hit save, build. Before I like release the keyboard shortcut, it's already said build. Um, succeeded, and I have this Teensy application up in the background. All I have to do to go actually upload new code, take a Teensy, hit the nicely visible reset button, instantly programs it, and boom, the LED's fading again, it's uploaded new code. Um, very, very, very rapid development, very easy to do, no bootloaders, variable drivers, um, no drivers installed, just the Teensy application. It's using a DFU. Uh, device firmware update, USB spec, so you could actually theoretically program it with um, other standards. Um, and uh, anyway, this is my new flight controller. Um, should be up and flying tomorrow, as soon as I can get in the cell scope and test out PWM output. Um, get the timing right.